In this tutorial, I will show you what is the difference between eccentric beam column modeling and center line method of beam column modeling. In most of the cases, we follow the second one that means we consider that all the columns are at same center line and moreover we consider that all the beams are at the center of the column. But this is not the practical situation in most of the cases. In most of the cases, we see that beams stands eccentrically with the column. So, in this tutorial, we will model our structure as per the AutoCAD plan. That means we will model eccentric beam column. Here you can see this yellow line indicates the intersecting point of the grid line and this blue line that means the intersecting point of the uh, blue lines indicates the central center point of the column. So, at first let us find out the difference between this point and this point. Here you can see the difference is 1.5 inch positive that means at right side and 1.5 inch negative that means at the bottom side or below side. Okay. So, here at first I will go to the plan view. Here you can see that I have modeled both the structure by using the second method or column beam center line method. Now from here I will select all stories. I will select unit US default. Then I will delete all the beams from this structure. Okay. Go to edit, go to delete. Now we will model eccentric beam column. So from here I have selected all stories plan offset in x direction 1.5 inch positive as I have shown you earlier and for y direction minus 1.5 inch. Now model this column here similarly model this column and also this column. Okay. Now we will check for the right side here you can see at the right side the difference is 1.5 inch negative or at the left side and one again 1.5 inch negative because the, this center point is below the intersecting grid point. Okay. So go to E tabs again quick draw column here I will use minus 1.5 inch. Now from here select the grid point, grid point and grid point. That means we have completed our modeling. Now go back to the 3D view. Here you can see that there this is the center of the column and this is the intersecting grid point which we have to connect by using a link. So go to define then go to section property then go to link then go to modify from here just select fix all click on ok now at first we will work with story 2 so go to select go to select stories here i will select story 2 at first close show selected objects only ok now we will connect this center of column and intersecting grid point with a link. Okay, we have done this one for this column, then go for go for this column and grid point, then go for this column and grid point. Similarly, do this for this column and this grid point then this column and this grid point similarly this column and this grid point now we will go to story one for this uh, left sided structure basically so go to select select then go to stories now select story one select close show selected objects only okay now we will do the same thing here go to link properties connect this one and this grid point 
then this joint and this grid point this one and this one this one and this one similarly do the same thing for this one and also for this column and this grid point okay maybe we have done for all the column and intersecting uh, grid lines so now click on show all objects now we will analyze these two structure but before that i will go to okay save this one go to define go to load combination here we are using these 18 combinations click on ok just analyze the structure okay another thing here you can see that there have some difference in their um, in their joint so i will unlock the model then i will go to the plan view of base from here i will select one story and make them peak supported because we need to check the difference in results so we will uh, make them similar now go to the 3d view then analyze the structure again okay now go to design concrete frame design select design combination here we are using this 18 combination click on ok then go to design concrete frame design start design check okay you can see that all concrete frames uh, passed in the design check that was not our issue okay that was not our issue uh, at first we will check the result for column okay so go to select select object type then go to column select close show selected objects only here you can see for column this column requires 2048 mm square reinforcement but this column requires 2459 mm square reinforcement this column requires 2048 mm square reinforcement but this column requires 2459 mm square reinforcement similarly if you check for all other column you will see that where we have assigned link that columns are requiring less reinforcement okay here you can see 2455 but this one is 1649 this one is 24 uh, 80 but uh, this one is maybe 5343 okay that means columns are requiring less reinforcement now click on show all objects now we will check for uh, beam okay now we will check for beam so select this beam and this beam okay then go to or then select show selected objects only here you can see where we have assigned link these beams are requiring much reinforcement especially at uh, especially at top that is here six one nine four uh, and uh, this one is four sorry five four five okay here uh, at bottom this is uh, requiring res, uh, less reinforcement uh, definitely here you can see 480 but this one requires uh, 4 sorry 509 mm square let's check another beam so, so select show all objects here i will select this beam and this beam okay this column this beam and this beam show selected objects only here you can see that for this beam okay let me show you more clearly for this beam we need 507 here we need 477 7236304967640 okay 
but at bottom you can see these uh, beams are requiring less reinforcement almost 4774 almost similar okay yeah in other case you can say that this uh, this what should i say this structure is requiring more reinforcement okay this uh, sorry less reinforcement less reinforcement for beam but greater reinforcement for column okay so if you have any doubt that either i have assigned the same loading values so let's go back to the show all objects okay let's go back to the show all objects uh, then unlock the structure here i will show the loading values also here i will show you the loading values also display show load assign frame here i will select wall load apply here you can see 6 kilo newton per meter for all the structure partition wall load 5 kilo newton per meter for all the structure then go for shell loading display load assign then go to shell then from here select live load you will see 2 kilo newton per meter 2 kilo newton per meter square live load and also here you will see that 2 kilo newton per meter square floor finish that means loading values are same but what is the conclusion the conclusion is if you are modeling your structure by following the eccentric beam column modeling in that case you will get higher reinforcement in column that means if you follow this procedure you will get higher reinforcement in column and less reinforcement in column if you follow the column beam center line method okay let me show you again let me show you again maybe i have uh, maybe i have told okay let me show you let me show you go to design okay then go to design concrete frame design start design check okay now go to select select object type from here i will select column select close show selected objects only here you can see 202048 that means higher reinforcement when you will model your structure by following the center line method i am telling you again that if you follow center line method of modeling you will get more reinforcement in column okay then go for show all objects then go for this one okay show selected objects only here you can see if you model your structure by following the eccentric beam column model modeling you will get uh, much reinforcement in beam okay and less reinforcement in beam where you model your structure by following the center line method and that's the conclusion now it's up to you which method you will design or, or which method you will use for your design that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you